Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint leather pouches. So the first colour we're going to use is Citadel Mournfang Brown. I'm going to speed through this part and the shade as well just because it's just applying a flat layer of Mournfang Brown and then a wash with Citadel Null Oil to darken that up and get into the recesses. So for now if you just paint up each of the pouches with Mournfang Brown then we can move on to the next one. This is the technique that I use on all the Space Marine pouches. Try and get that good worn leather effect. Because they probably would have been battered a bit during all the battles and what have you. So next up is Citadel Nuln Oil Shade. I'm just going to give a nice wash to each of these pouches. Get that into all of the recesses. Then leave it to dry so we can come back and paint up those pouches. like so. So with that dry, we're now going to return to Citadel Mournfang Brown. The idea here is that you're going to be leaving the shade in the recesses and you're just going to be painting up the pouches, the top edges, the edges of the flap and the sides and all the angles just to give them that base colour back. You'll find that there is ridges on the bigger pouches and there's also some recesses, only very slight ones, slight like concaves to the pouches, which is ever so slightly off camera there. We'll be moved back up into shot in one moment. But you want to make sure that you're getting the Mornfang Brown back onto the areas which are raised up and leaving that Nuln Oil in the areas that are recessed. So you can see on the front of that holster there there's some dulled areas and that is where the Nuln Oil is still present. So here we're just applying the Mornfang Brown as we did on that holster. You want to make sure you do that for each of the pouches to ensure that you're leaving the shade in the recesses and you've got the Mornfang Brown on the top areas of each of those pouches. Like so. So next up we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Rackarth Flesh mixed with the Mornfang Brown. And this is going to be so that we can start adding the first parts of the scuffing to the pouches. In order to do this what we're doing here is using the brush to work our way down the edges and the corners and any raised areas on the pouch. And we're not doing this in a nice smooth way, you're doing it in an up and down motion for any horizontal edges and you're doing it in a left to right motion for any verticals. What this does is it creates that rough edge that you see when leather's been worn. And it just means that when you see the pouch it looks scuffed and chafed around those edges. So you want to be thinking about where the pouch is going to be worn. So these bottom corners around the top of the holster where you will be taking the pistol out. You're also going to have a fair little bit of wear and tear on that area because that's where it's going to be getting rubbed by either the Marine's gauntlet or the pistol going in and out. So again, working on this pouch here, doing exactly the same thing. You're doing vertical lines across the horizontal and horizontal lines across the vertical and generally making it look like it's got those rough scuffs 
going across each of the holsters. You probably recognise this technique from each of the Space Marines I do because they do all of the pouches the same colour now. This is a slowly changed technique from when I was doing the Black Legion a while ago. It slowly developed a little bit more and more as time's gone by. Until you have that scuffed and battered look to them. Rather than just rough highlights. It looks more like the leather has been chafed. Like so. Now I'm going to add a little bit more Citadel Rakarth Fresh to the previous mix. I'm going to give that another layer. This time we're using a thinner brush. I think we're using the Citadel small layer brush here. But again, you're going to be doing those horizontal strokes on the verticals and the vertical strokes on the horizontals. You're using the smaller brush and you want to be getting the highlights here smaller than they were on the previous layers. Now it's just so that you can see the previous layers underneath this one. Not too sure why I managed to miss the start of each of these sections here, it's really quite frustrating. But I've left it all as slow time so that you can see this progressing from where it was. Now you don't have to have a completely smooth line going down the edges, it looks better if you don't and it's a bit more bitty and haphazard. You can see here how that's coming together with the paler scuffs on the top there. So the leather has been scraped and scratched. Obviously, if you're wanting your pouches and things to look newer and fresh out of the packet, you wouldn't be putting all these scuffs on. And you could use similar colours to do the highlights to the leather. But you would be using smoother edges and smoother highlights rather than this rough and scraped look. Like so. And the final thing, where would we be without nice shiny buttons on the back? We use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. We're just going to do this for all of the studs on these. And also I'll show you what happens if you accidentally splodge a bit of the metallic on so that you don't have to repaint the whole thing. Good thing about using null oil shade is you can correct it. Oh, there we go. A little bit of chrome onto the leather. Which is what you don't want because it's on a dark thing. The chrome will show up really, really bright. So at the end, I've thrown up a couple of different examples from a few different chapters of what their scuff pouches look like, just so you can see it on a few different miniatures. And if you do happen to get that chrome onto the leather, then all you need to do is get a little bit of Citadel Null Oil Get a little bit of it on the end of your brush and just blob that into position. Like so. If first that doesn't stick in place, get a little bit more 
tap that on top, like so. And that is the finished pouches. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoyed the content and you'd like to support us, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.